Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. If you were with me last year, you will remember these molds. These were my favorite 2021 molds. Honestly, super chunky, deep, gorgeous baubles. Last year I did this one with Jesmonite and gold foil. And a few of you mentioned how beautiful it would be with like a two layers of resin, white background and a dark, moody, starry night sky. I ran out of time last year, so I didn't get around to doing it. And we are back today making this happen. We are using two different resins, which is why we can get this cured all in one day. We are using poly resin for the first layer. So this is not an epoxy. However, I am still using my PPE, my glove, my, my glove, my gloves and my respirator. And this is going to set, listen to this, this is going to set within five minutes within five minutes now this is real time stirring this is the kind of resin that gives me heart palpitations but it's all so worth it it's got a very watery consistency part a part b measurable by weight and you have a 30 second max stir time max like after 20 seconds you can feel the cup starting to heat up in your hand and you know it's already getting to the point where it's a bit too late. So I would honestly stir vigorously for 20 seconds and then pour. It pours like water. The one reason I use this is because A, this lets us pour two layers of resin in one day and literally pour and demold within say 10 hours of each other, not even 10, eight, <laughs> within eight hours of each other. But also it's got a really beautiful watery consistency, almost as thin as tap water when you're pouring it. And I knew that because of all the intricate details on these molds, it is going to make its way into all of those teeny tiny nooks and crannies. And you can see it here traveling up and through the stag, up and into the antlers and those teeny tiny stars, it made its way in. But here's the thing, this resin, like I said at the beginning, this is super fast cure. I cannot emphasize, I cannot emphasize. If you are, if you have a weak nervous disposition like myself, it might not be the best one for you. But to get things done super fast, this is what you want. And look at this, it's gone. It's set in my cup. Now I was filming in real time here. So I literally poured the resin, moved on to the next one, poured the resin, moved on to the third one and it's gone. Okay, it's gone. We're talking all of two to three minutes. Now this is human error and the way to avoid this really is to just not mix up too much. In my cup, I poured 40 grams of part A and 40 grams of part B and that was just too much. It was too much. So I would recommend doing what I'm doing here, just pouring 20 part A, 20 part B, mix it like your life depends on it and then pour after 20 seconds pour it because honestly if you've used this resin you will know you start to feel it heat up and then and then your brain is saying go 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 pour it now pour it now um but the beauty of this resin is that it will cure to the color so i bought this myself i do have a 10 percent discount over at i love mixed media uk but i did buy this myself from there but i do have a 10 percent discount now you can buy it in white this one here is white so it doesn't look white right now but you will soon see that it starts to change color in front of your eyes and I love that. You can also buy it in black and you can buy it in clear. I still don't know a lot about this resin. I don't know if you can add colors to it, to be honest. I'm not sure there's, I'm not sure there's even time to add color to it if you wanted to, but this is real time, just slightly sped up for you guys. And, and I do realize that saying that it's real time but sped up is not actually real time. But it took around 50 seconds to one minute for these to completely cure. And now after five minutes, they are rock hard, like rock hard. I could demold at this point if I wanted to. For the night sky, we are going super magical winter wonderland, a little bit of sparkly sparkly and a hint of silver foil and glitter. So I am doing what I said in previous videos and that is just using my, my finger and my thumb 
with my glove on to sprinkle some of the Hemway Chunky Silver Glitter into that sky now that glitter is going to cling to the mold so whatever I put in afterwards it's still going to be visible when we demold and then on top of that for a little bit of extra I'm adding a little bit of silver foil into that night sky as well just to add to the magic and add to that kind of truly Christmassy winter wonderland feeling and here is where my vocabulary lets me down again. <laughs> I need I need some other words in the comment section. Give me some more words for that Christmassy magical feel. But yes, that is the plan with the night sky. A little bit of foil, a little bit of silver, just to bring them to life when we pour the night sky in. So to make this a project that you can pour two layers of resin and demold in the same day, we are then using Vista Turbo to fill them up. Now, I am a Vista ambassador and all of the details for Vista resin will be in the description box below. And I am using Vista Turbo resin. Now this is a five, six, seven, depending on your room temperature, demold. This is such a fast cure resin. I'm also adding in from my shadow foam wall. I am loving my shadow foam wall, the details for shadow foam will also be in the description but I'm adding in a little bit of super sparkle white from the color cottage now this super sparkle white can take over it really can dominate your work so I only used a teeny tiny pinch of it and if I'm honest it wasn't enough it wasn't enough but yay hey we live and learn I'm always so scared of putting it in in case it takes over but then I really did not put enough in and I don't even think we can really see it so once I've mixed up my resin I've added some inky I think it was called inky depths um from resin 8 it is a dark blue paste to give me that dark blue night magical sky um over the white winter wonderland and this is eight hours later Eight hours later, okay. I poured the white at 8 a.m. and this is now eight hours later. We are demolding and look at this. Oh my gosh. Winter Wonderland. I love it. I think it is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And you can see how that glitter rested on the silicon mold. Even the foil is coming through. I absolutely love these baubles now I didn't show these when I showed the more the molds that I'll be using this year I showed my new molds but obviously this was from last year again it is linked below in my Amazon storefronts I do need to go on and see if I can get it in Canada and America I I'm not sure I added those but they should be linked below and oh my gosh I just cannot and that's the beauty of the poly resin the polyurethane resin because when you pour it it's like water it gets into every single teeny tiny nook and cranny so the air bubbles are minimal like, in fact I don't even know if I could find an air bubble it really did such an amazing job and look at this one it's got a little stag standing up and what looks like a little lamb sitting down and the stars are so crisp against that night blue sky and the beauty with the resin 8 paste is that there is an element of this there's a little bit of transparency there. It's not totally opaque. So you can see some light coming through. And I just think with these hanging on the tree, with your Christmas lights coming through the back, extra, extra magical. Now, this is the one where I had a little bit of spillage. I, I, I was pouring with a frantic heart, okay? I was pouring with a frantic heart. <laughs> I felt like I couldn't afford that kind of <laughs> high blood pressure. And yes, we got spillage on this one. Now, instead of pouring it out, I just left it. And I'm not angry about it. It looks like snowy background. It looks like a bit of snow drift. It looks like the stag is standing in snow. And it looks like, I guess, trees in the distance. I'm, I'm trying to be poetic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to justify my spillage. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love these. I love these. And honestly, I wish I had the chance to get to do these last year when so many of you suggested that I do it. But quite frankly, I just ran out of time. I start the Christmas videos with a whole list of ideas. I fill my calendar out and then I'm like, I don't even have enough room on the calendar to fill all my ideas. 
And so, yeah, there might be a couple of weeks coming up where we get four videos a week, might even be five videos a week because I want to do everything. I want to do it all. I'm like, what's her name? Veruca Salt. I don't care how I want it now. Um, yeah, I just want to do it all. But we shall see. We shall see what it brings. Guys, next year, I am seriously considering doing Vlogmas. Let me know. I say Vlogmas. It will be craft room Vlogmas. It will be crafty related. I, I don't know. I love watching Vlogmas. I, I'm so envious of people that have time every single day of the month in December in the lead up to Christmas who have time to edit. For me, filming is one thing. It's the editing that takes hours. <laughs> well, sometimes not hours, but you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in Vlogmas 2023 where I bring you a different crafty video every single day of the of the month of December in the run up to Christmas. Because I feel like if I start filming now, <laughs> I feel like, you know, the January sales, I feel like if I start filming now, I need 25 videos by December. So if, I don't know, I don't know, I'm saying it out loud, I might regret this, but yeah, it's just... An idea I'd really love to do. But back to the video. The night sky, the stars, the foil, the magic, the winter wonderland feeling that I get from these. Of course, if you have these moulds, you can do whatever it is you want with them. I'm really happy with the choices I made in this video. I wouldn't change them for the world. So yes, you could have done this or you should have done this maybe, but not for me. I love them as they are. I really am happy. I just love that crisp white resin as well. So all of the details will be in the description box below. For the poly resin, I got it from I Love Mixed Media. The Vista resin is from Vista. The pigment, there's no pigment. Yeah, the Resin 8 pigment, I won't link that. I don't have any links for Resin 8. We all know Resin 8. Um, and the molds will be in the Amazon storefront. So yeah, I hope you found these as magical as I found them. Honestly, I think they're dreamy so so dreamy and I think if you have any molds that are multi-layered and you want it all done in one day then this two combination of resin perfect perfect imagine if you had like a craft fair or a Christmas table somewhere you could get this project knocked out in a day and literally or even a gift you've been invited somewhere and you need a quick last minute gift but you've only got a day you can't do resin but you can if you've got poly and a fast cure epoxy because wow Anyway, I will stop rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I find them so relaxing to look at. And there's so much detail in such a tiny little mould as well. I say tiny, they're quite chunky. Actually, in Jesmonite, they were like three times the weight because Jesmonite is so much heavier than epoxy. But anyway, again, I'm rambling. I'm just happy. I'm happy with the outcome. Thank you all so, so much. If you are new here, I've had so many new friends coming in lately and I massively appreciate you all. And I don't know if we're going to have reached 100 in the chat tonight, but you never know. You never know. We can live and dream and do all of those things. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking out wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and Outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time 
get out in the snow, lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear. It's Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door. It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you.